the moment. Excerpt 12 again from Shamati. What is the day? What is the day of the Lord and the night of the Lord in the work? It is written, quote, Woe unto you who desire the day of the Lord. Why do you need the day of the Lord? It is darkness and not light. End quote. The thing is that those who await the day of the Lord, it means that they are waiting to be imparted with faith above reason. That faith will be so strong as if they, they see with their eyes with certainty that it is so, that the Creator watches over the world in a manner of good and doing good. This is called the vessels of reception being under the tzimtzum, under the restriction, and I don't feel anything in them. They remain in the dark. And above it, I build, above the tzimtzum, I build a masach, the screen, and the reflected light, the ochozer, and I give back to the Creator. I want to be connected to him specifically in this way, where I have darkness in my regular kelim, in my will to receive, and above it, I turn to him to, so that what I receive as darkness is from him, because there's none else besides him. And I turn to him in this way, and then I begin to feel that I am in light. But it's not light of knowing, it's light of faith. These are the first degrees of our entry into the spiritual world, the upper world. In other words, they do not want to see how the Creator leads the world as the good who does good, since seeing is contradictory to faith. In other words, faith is precisely where it is against reason. And when one does what is against one's reason, this is called faith above reason. This means that they believe that the guidance of the Creator over the created beings is in a manner of good and doing good, while they do not see it with absolute certainty they do not say to the Creator, quote, we want to see the quality of good and doing good as seeing within reason, end quote. Rather, they want it to remain in them as faith above reason. But they ask of the Creator to give them such strength that this faith will be so strong as if they see it within reason that there will be no difference between faith and knowledge in the mind. This is what they, those who want to adhere to the Creator, refer to as the Day of the Lord. This is how a person begins to feel, to discover what is spirituality, with what perception, what vision, what relation, attitude to the world, to nature, nature being the creator, really. So, how he have to, he has to, um, to direct himself, to relate himself, and then he begins to discover the creator, and this is called revealing the upper world. I hope you will read it this excerpt a few more times and these excerpts in general until they they penetrate your feeling your intellect your feelings your mind your habits and that way you'll begin to relate to every darkness that you feel as an invitation to come to the light, but the upper light, spiritual light, that precisely by feeling the darkness in our lives, we get an invitation to light, to the spiritual day. 